So in this video, I want to show you the easiest and fastest way of finding proven products you can drop ship on your Shopify store. When I say proven products, I mean products that have that previous sales history that we can see and view that guarantees them to be a winning product. So I've been using this site now for the past three to four months, maybe. I think it was just before Q4 I first got introduced to it. And one of the reasons then why it's my favorite go-to place to find products is because behind each product, there's so much data and information that you can use, which makes that decision of selling that product that much easier. So in this video, I'm gonna show you my three favorite features of this particular site, um, just to help you guys out with that whole product research process, because I know it can take hours and hours and hours, and this simplifies it um, a lot. Plus there's some pretty cool other features as well, just to help you in terms of ad creation, integration to your store, and things like that. So with that being said then, let's jump straight into it. So the site in question is Sell the Trend. You may or may not have heard of it before, and I could probably talk for a good couple of hours, in fact, taking you through all the different features and information available to you, how However, to keep the video short, I'm just gonna give you a brief introduction and show you my three favorite things that you can do with it. So this is your home dashboard then. It recently had an update at the end of March. So if this looks different to what you may have seen in previous videos, that'll be why. So my favorite section of the site is the Nexus. When you're doing your product research, this will be the area in which you spend most of your time. There's many different categories of products. You have hot products, trending, on the rise, new products, and then all. However, my favorite is trending products. The reason being is these are the products that are currently selling right now today. So if you are a beginner and you're not quite sure what to sell, then this is the place in which you want to start. If you're not quite sure, you can simply scroll through, find something that catches your eye, or if you wanna give yourself the best chance, you can sort them. So we can go to sort products, buy Nexus rank, and then go to the highest, and then it will sort them in order. And this is one of the reasons why I like Sell the Trend so much is because of its accuracy. It makes sense that these category of products are at the top of the list now, given the current times we're living in with the virus and the lockdown, um, things like face masks, masks, um, home workout tools, um, things we can do at home, like different activities and hobbies we can do at home. It makes sense, so it just proves how accurate this software is. Whereas I've used other softwares and sites and the results have always just been a bit mixed. So once you've found a product that catches your eye, this is really where Sell the Trend comes into its own, in my opinion. What we can do is we can click on this green product research button here. It's gonna open up the tab and it's just gonna give us a ton of different useful and valuable information. So at the top, we have how many orders. This is from AliExpress. We have the product cost. However, that looks a bit off to me. I doubt they're selling this for a penny. They have the selling price from the averages of the Shopify stores currently selling this, which gives us a rough profit margin. Now this is quite handy because if you can work towards say a 15 pounds cost per purchase on Facebook, then you know straight away you're looking at about 20 pounds or $20 profit per order. Next thing is we have this chart, is which is the daily breakdown of sales on AliExpress. And this is a really strong sign that products like this is super in demand now. So this is a green light in terms of finding a winning product. Now, what I really like about this screen is it gives you a breakdown of where these stores are currently selling this product or where these stores are based. So we can see Brazil, the majority of them being in America, 10 in Europe, and then only five in the UK, which is interesting because we know for a fact this is a super in-demand product. However, there's not that many people selling it in the UK. So it kind of opens up opportunities or gives you a market to focus on. Rather than try and sell it in the US, for example, where the majority of people are selling it, why not focus it in the UK where it's gonna be a bit less competitive? Moving to the bottom of the screen as well. Now this comes in handy if you know what you're looking for. When it comes to do Facebook targeting, it's quite a common question I'll get asked. People want me to suggest interest for them to target, whereas this software does it for you. And it gives you all these different categories, which is really useful because if you just hit a brick wall, like I've been doing interest research for a couple hours before, and then I just feel like I've seen absolutely every interest or every category there is, you can come on here and it can just spark new ideas. So if you're a beginner, you can start with the quick start section and then there's there's all these different categories. So these are all different interests you can target, all different brands within the bodybuilding niche, all different magazines, jobs, societies, and public figures. There's just a ton of information there that you can use to kind of spark different interests or roads to go down. Now the next feature I wanna show you is something that Sell the Trend don't talk about much, but they should because it's one of the biggest things that beginners when they're getting involved in dropshipping struggle with, and that's the video ad creation. So on the left-hand side then, we've got all these different tabs. They're pretty self-explanatory. So this top one will show you a shop store selling this product and then these will be all the different product listings on AliExpress, Amazon, Facebook and YouTube. Now this is the one I want to show you. If we just click on this it's going to open up a new tab to a video creator and what it will do is it will import all the images from a particular site so you can select the different sites however these are in rank order so essentially this will be the best site or import all the images from their site and then there's a ton of different options you can do as well. So you can set different text options, a color style to match the branding of your store, you can select particular 
your music so depending on what niche you're in obviously you might want upbeat or you want my slower music for example you can set the duration of the slideshow and then essentially just click create video and it will do everything for you now to be honest the finished products might not always be a 10 out of 10 but for a beginner who's never done this before um, and doesn't have access to an expensive video editing software then it's an ideal place to start going back to the product research section there's another feature as well that I want to share with you again an another thing that's if I was sell the trend I would make a bigger deal out of this because so many beginners come to me and they don't know how to create product pages so what you can do is if you click this add to store button here you can push it directly to your Shopify store and what you can also do is you can see it's already filled out the content here that we're going to import and the reason being then is because it takes it from these stores here so as you can see as I'm clicking on these different ones it's important different information from different stores however obviously we want to base our product page on the best selling store so essentially we've found a top trending product we've got a product page that's going to mimic the best selling store for this particular product as I'm about to say now you should not copy somebody's product page but what you can do is use it as inspiration so see how they've highlighted certain keywords or phrases in different colors the images they use in the different features you can use the same sort of stuff but obviously reword it and relay out it to match your store match the theme and branding of your particular store it also gives you this particular information here which is what their current selling price is so if these guys are selling it as a bestseller successfully at this price then we can use that same price and what we can also do is select the different suppliers in which we want to source it from on Aliexpress so if we click on the different ones it's going to change the different feedback score it's going to change the different amount of reviews so you can flick through the different ones and just make sure you've selected the one with obviously the highest um, feedback score and the best reviews as well so when it is integrated and you are processing your orders that you're buying it from the best supplier possible before we move on to the next couple of features I just want to let you know that if you do want to find out more information about sell the trend and try them out there is a link in the video description below it'll be the first link and it will be an affiliate link as well so I will get a kickback if you do sign up through that link whether you use my link or not it shouldn't matter it shouldn't take away from the fact of how valuable sell the trend can be to you um, it is genuinely one of the tools I use myself and in the past two years I've been doing YouTube apart from Shopify themselves I'm not an affiliate for anything else so with that being said then let's move into the last couple of features I want to show you guys and the second section then is explorers so there's all these different sites here which will show you really good products within these particular categories so it's not just Aliexpress they do have Amazon as well however being somebody who Shopify drop ships I'm sourcing my products from Aliexpress so this is the section I'm interested in most so this is essentially kind of like the main overview however there's a ton of different filters and options you can select for example if you are within a certain niche and you want to find products within your particular niche you can do the same thing we did on the previous screen so let's say for example you are in the cycling niche you can come on here find a ton of different products and again what I really like about sell the trend is it gives you a ton of different information if you're a beginner watching this now and you're looking for a particular product to drop ship the section which you're most interested in is this overall one the daily one doesn't tell you too much in terms of how successful the products will be moving forward however this overall will obviously the higher the numbers the higher the spike and demand for this particular product has been obviously we can see at the top again with it being a face mask recently it has spiked like crazy for obvious reasons given the current times we're living in so this is the section you want to be focusing on most now if you're not restricted to any particular niche you could go to all niches and then once this loads up we can go to sort products and then you've got again you've got all these different options which you can filter by so if you want to go by all time orders change we can go by highest percentage increase and it's going to give us all the products that match that particular set of criteria that we're currently looking for and again a great illustration of how accurate sell the trend is at the top we have home workout products to end the video off I want to show you the tools section and the different tools you have at your disposal um, number one being the engagement calculator because a lot of people will approach me and ask me how I calculate whether influencers are worth spending their money on or not so what you can do is you can come onto here you can choose the influencer whether it's Twitter or Instagram you can put how many followers are in so let's say they have a hundred thousand followers and they get in let's say 2,000 likes on average per post we can take an average obviously over the course of say the last five photos or videos and they get let's say 250 comments get engagement rating and it's going to give us an influencer rating of amazing so then we know whether that influencer 
is worth going with or not. With that being said, guys, that pretty much covers the three features I wanted to show you in this video. As you can see, there's a ton more. So if you do want me to do, say, like a part two, comment part two, and I can show you some more cool features and options you have um, within Sell the Trend. But apart from that, that's it for me in this video. If you are interested, obviously head down into the video description, check out the link at the top. And if you have any comments or questions about this or anything for that matter, I do read every single comment. So just simply comment it down below. I will see it and I will get back to you. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit that like button. Please do subscribe as well for regular content. I am uploading about five videos every single week. And apart from that, thanks very much for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.